hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to make um, egg curry egg with peas um in order to make that i'll need um, onions garlic all the dry spices the green chili uh, tomatoes and peas and um, i'll show you how so let's start cooking so the first step is uh, we need to boil the eggs we need hard boiled eggs for this curry so i have a pan of water and i'm going to cover it and i'll let that cook the eggs until they are fully boiled while the eggs are boiling i have a pan i have uh, some olive oil and all the dry spices they are fully cooked so i'm putting the onions and i'll cook the onions until they are golden brown so i just uh, crushed a um, couple of garlic cloves and i i put that in so now the onions, garlic, and all the dry spices are cooking very nicely. And um, it's ready for the next step. So I'll put in all the tomatoes. I chopped up two tomatoes. And I'm going to let that cook. So we want to soften the tomatoes until um, they become nice and soft and make the gravy. I'm going to add some salt. We need to add the salt for the eggs also. I will add turmeric powder and I will add the chili powder. Chili powder is according to your taste and at this point I'm going to add the green chili. I decided to put the whole chili because it's easy to remove it otherwise you would get a very hot spicy chili in every bite and um, that can be a bit um, painful so it's better to do it this way so you can remove it if uh, the sauce is too spicy so I'm going to cover it and let that all cook and um, show you the next step so i just um, uncovered the pot and this is exactly how you want it the tomatoes have wilted which will make a nice thick gravy all the spices have cooked properly and have marinated i just tasted it the salt is fine everything is fine you have to adjust salt as you go and now at this point i'm going to add some water about three cups three quarter cups of water and we will let that simmer as you can see the eggs are still boiling and they're almost done so now you can see the gravy has fully cooked and i just uh, peel the eggs and i cut them in half and now I'm going to insert each half egg into the gravy. So the yolk of the egg is going to marinate or infuse the gravy, which will thicken it a little bit. So we're going to cover that. Make sure they are facing up. So the um, yolk doesn't um, come off the egg and it doesn't integrate but it infuses the gravy so we will let that cook for a few minutes so after boiling it for a few minutes the gravy has thickened now all the gravy has been absorbed in the eggs so at this point I'm going to remove the eggs in order not to disturb the yolk and to keep its um, shape. And after removing the eggs, I'm going to put in the peas so the peas can cook in the same gravy. And then after the peas are cooked, we are going to integrate 
the curry peas and um, egg curry together but I didn't want to add the peas while the eggs were still in there so after the eggs were infused with the gravy this is the best way to cook the, the peas so now we will let that cook for a few more minutes and I'll show you the next step so as you can see the peas are cooking very nicely you see all these dry spices floating these spices are very good to utilize in your food because it prevents you from getting cold the cloves the cinnamon the black pepper uh, peppercorns i should say and all the spices they actually are very healthy and in winter you should incorporate all the dry spices otherwise um, you know you're not using them so this is one way of using them i just wanted to give you that tip so yeah, you can even um, eat them with your food. You don't have to remove them. You can just chew them because they're fully cooked. So this is the tip I wanted to give you to utilize dry spices, especially in winter. So I just turned off the heat because the peas have fully cooked. It has absorbed all the gravy. When you see a little dimples on the peas, that's a sign that the peas are cooked. Now you can either put back the, the eggs into the gravy, but I'm going to make a presentation for you. So I'm going to pour the gravy over the eggs. And this is one tasty meal with protein and vegetables combined in one dish. It's a very fulfilling dish and a very healthy dish. So I hope you will make it. And this has to be eaten with plain rice or you can eat it um, with bread but uh, yeah I just want to show the yolk of the egg so I'm removing a little bit of gravy from the top so yeah this is all for presentation but practically I would just put it all together and dig in so There you have it, your egg curry with peas. And you see all the dry spices, I'm not removing them. If you don't like them, at this point you can remove them. I even have the green chili showing there. Um, so, this is a very nice presentation, I think. And um, enjoy the curry. So please like, share and subscribe my channel and I hope you will make it. I would love to hear comments from you, which I'm not receiving, but I would love to hear from you because it's nice to get feedback of all the efforts I'm making. Um, so see you next time. Enjoy. Bye bye. This is a very tasty dish. See you next time. Bye.